locales for mixed martial arts in the country. Kevin Randleman, Hodger Gracie in the cage, round two scheduled for three. Very competitive opening round. Hodger Gracie, 16 of 81 in total strikes. Randleman, 9 of 16. Gracie did also secure the takedown. I tend to give it to Gracie, 10 9. Close. I, I got Gracie in the first round. Oh, very good body oh, shot wow. by Randleman. That made my body hurt. Thudding body combination. Hodger just found out that his jab really works. All oh, right, Hodger <laughs> Gracie with a nice right hook. He did not like that shot to the body. No, but he eats a couple of more shots to the torso. And really, let's face it, when it comes to the jab Hodger's throwing, he's using his striking to try to set up the takedown, which, of course, is going to be easier said than done when you're trying against an Ohio State Wrestling Hall of Famer. What's funny is his style of punching just popped into my head. He's punching like Nick Diaz. Yes, he is. He's just. I, I see why that would pop into your head. He's just shooting him <laughs> out there. Land on your head. Yeah, the punching time. He's just shooting him out there and then walking behind him and measuring the range so he can clinch. Again, snatches that front. Headlock. And really, Randleman in the stand-up department been working with one of the preeminent stand-up trainers in the sport, Sean Tompkins, picking up tips along the way. Grab his pants. Wow. Randleman's working for that double. He's in awful deep. Looked like he tried to switch to a single. What's the key to fighting jujitsu guys? For? Well, for me, it's keeping them standing up and boxing. Or getting them on their back and keeping them in the center and trying to pound them out with a little ground and pound. I think Randleman's got to got to get that range. He's in he's in a grappling game against a world class grappler. He's got to be careful how much energy he ex right. tries to expend in those takedown attempts. Not going to do him any favor. Oh, and he, Randleman's right. down, and Gracie jumps on him. He caught him flush with the knee. Now we'll see the world class jujitsu maybe ground and pound. Gracie. And Randleman now just holding on. Yeah, Gracie from north-south. Randleman desperately trying to clean out the cobwebs after taking that knee right between the eyes. And he's in a bad position here. Hanging on to that leg is actually keeping him trapped in this position. Gracie is advancing that to the out. Mount. And this is his favorite position. Here we go, side choke. choke. Side choke. Randleman's in trouble. Now Randleman oh. scrambling. Good job, but Gracie takes his back. And Gracie told us that if he gets mount, he wins. Well, so far, Randleman has survived, but is in a precarious position here, flattening him out. This is a bad spot to be in. Two minutes left. Going for the rear naked. He rolls him over. Uh-oh. Randleman. Oh, he's got the figure four body lock. And Gracie's a lot of got trouble. him locked. And a lot of trouble. Can Kevin Randleman get out of this? Randleman holding on. This is how Gracie finished Kondo in his last fight. Props to Randleman at 38, desperately trying to save his career. Randleman is keeping that arm from being underneath his chin, but the moment it slides underneath his chin, Kevin Randleman's in a world of trouble here. The one thing he can do is he can wrestle to put his back on the mat. If he puts his back on the mat, Gracie cannot be on his back choking him. And again, well, how much difficulty he's used to training with the gi. It looks like he is having, and again, Randleman, great job of defending, but Gracie with the gi, not with the gi in mixed martial arts. Well, it's hard to do, and plus, look how long his arms are. That's a long arm to get underneath that chin. Randleman's just swimming the chin around and keeping it from getting underneath. Very impressed with Randleman's submission defense. Uh -oh. Oh, under now. He got it. Under now. He got it. Kevin Randleman taps. He taps. Hodger, great.